Did you know that scientists can use human feces to make your intestines healthier? 30 years ago, we would have never imagined that human feces can be used to treat diseases. But through recent research advancements, we've come to know that fecal microbiota transplants, or FMT, can be a plausible way through which we can treat obesity. Before we talk about what a FMT is, let's talk about what obesity and the gut microbiota are and what the connection between them is so we can better understand what the fecal transplant does to your body. Obesity is a disorder characterized by an energy imbalance and a high body fat percentage. That is to say, individuals with obesity take in more calories than they burn. Obesity can also predispose you to many other conditions, such as chronic mild inflammation throughout the body, insulin resistance, and type 2 diabetes. On the other hand, the gut microbiota refers to the community of microorganisms in your gut, such as the bacteria that live in your intestines. These microorganisms play an important role in digesting the fiber in your diet, but they are also thought to play a major role in determining how much energy we absorb from a meal versus how much we excrete. Now, why do we think the two are related? Well, the gut microbiota in obese individuals is often altered in that it is less diverse than that of a lean individual. This altered composition may determine how much energy obese individuals absorb from their food. So how can we use this to our advantage? Well, based on preliminary evidence, if we could change the gut microbiota in obese individuals so that it is more similar to the gut microbiota in lean individuals, we could possibly reduce some of the symptoms associated with obesity, such as weight gain and inflammation. This is where fecal microbiota transplant comes in, which involves transferring gut microbiota from a lean individual into an obese one. But is there any evidence that FMTs could be successful? There definitely is. Scientists have supported these claims through studies on mice, which are excellent animal models for human physiology. What about humans? Results from recent studies examining the effects of FMTs on obese individuals are promising. They involve giving obese but otherwise healthy individuals a capsule containing microbiota from a lean donor. Although the scientists haven't observed significant weight loss, they have seen other signs of progress in obese individuals such as increased diversity within the gut microbiota and decreased levels of substances that aid in fat absorption. This resembles the gut microbiota of a lean individual. But is this even safe? FMTs are relatively safe, but it is not without any side effects. Individual subjects may experience feelings of abdominal pain, bloating, cramps, diarrhea, constipation, and other symptoms. Although this research provides hope for those living with obesity, it is likely not to be a cure for the disease. FMTs do not serve to replace diet and exercise. FMTs should only be done by a healthcare professional or scientist. Do not attempt to undergo this procedure on your own. Even though more research is needed and fecal transplants are not used outside of the research setting, Current research findings are promising and can give us hope for the future of obesity. Clearly, humans have to get over the fact that they are putting parts of someone else's feces into their own body. How about you? Do you think you could do it? This treatment really tests the saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure. <laughs>